I'm sure Simba will make it through the Grand Street Parade, no problem. And they also have uh, Stephen McNeil behind them, the leader of the Liberals in Nova Scotia. So the Liberal Party of Canada represented the Grand Street Parade. Lots of waving, lots of handshaking. You'd almost think there was an election. No. <laughs> We've had enough of those. Thank you, Len. And it's great to note that uh, Scott, Leo, and Stephen are great supporters of festival, as are the NDPs and all of that. And here we have, here we have waving to us, Len. These are the King Special Olympics. We have the Special Olympians, uh, nearly 75 athletes participating in various sports representing Kings and West Hans counties. Uh, Kings West Hans Special Olympics organization requires volunteers and support from the community to promote Special Olympics athletes. And the mission of Canadian Special Olympics is to provide a sport training and competitive atmosphere. And listen to the crowds. They're really getting into these Special Olympians walking through and you can tell they're really excited by the crowds too. They're waving to all of us. And they'll be getting ready to go to some uh, competitions here before too much longer. Various sports. Last uh, year it was at Acadia. We get somebody displaying muscle from the van <laughs> there. So you boxing, we may have to get Danielle Small back. Exactly. <laughs> A little bit of help. Whoa! And one of the oh Special Olympians. My. I think he's quite trained. You, Lynn, you may be in trouble. <laughs> Enjoying the Grand Street Parade and all of the Special Olympians. Uh, very excited to be part of the Grand Street Parade here. Now we'll turn the clock back with the Sobeys Antique Truck entry in the parade this afternoon. That's 1924. Len, do you remember that truck? No, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sobeys, right? A vanity plate. They had those out in 1924. Look at their look like they're dressed in period costume from 1924. Not that I would know, Len. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we would probably need a grandparent to uh, remember the days of that driving around. Well, Sobeys was delivering products from the 20s and 30s through trucks like these. I'm sure they were on all the streets in Nova Scotia delivering products. Being that they started in Nova Scotia, Sobeys is quite worldwide known, especially we, we should say nationally in Canada. And it's interesting, you know, if you talk to uh, youngsters today and uh, you tell them about that uh, Sobeys uh, antique truck, uh, you'd be, they'd be hard pressed to believe that uh, somebody delivered groceries at one time. But yes, it happened. <laughs> it happened. And now we <laughs> complain about going to the grocery store and taking it back home. But Sobeys is a great company and we're proud to have it as part of Nova Scotia. And it looks, looks like we have Port Williams coming up now, Len. And Port Williams will have a, a small weekend festival this summer and an entry in the Grand Street Parade with the uh, community float. It's the village of Port Williams. They're celebrating the 60 year anniversary of the village and the fire department. 60 years of community service. That and says it all. The small village of Port Williams, which is just outside uh, Wolfville, uh, always hosts, as I mentioned, uh, a little community festival, and there's a lot of community pride there, as you can see. Obviously, a lot of people have taken some time to uh, to work on this beautiful float with the blossoms, which officially came out. We were a little worried a few weeks yes. ago with the weather, but the, the blossoms arrived just in time for the Apple Blossom Festival. We're this year, after 79 years, we're right on time. Blossoms Festival on time together. Now look at some of the uh, parade uh, viewers here. In the downtown Kentville area, you're enjoying the 79th Annapolis Valley Apple Blossom Festival Grand Street Parade, and it would not be a parade with the sound without the sounds of pipes and drums. And uh, we're going to treat you to some more live entertainment in the parade here. 76 minus brass and reed sea cadet band coming into view, and we'll just take a little listen in.
again, Lynn, they sound very polished. Lots of time, lots of practice put into a band like this, rehearsing. Mason Camp Aldershot, uh, one of the uh, one of the many uh, cadet groups that will be traveling to parades around. This is the 507 Air Cadet Parade. They do this every Tuesday night at Camp Aldershot uh, from September right through to June. They have uh, cadet members from 12 to 18 years of age. Uh, this summer, the cadets will take part in courses traveling to locations throughout Atlantic Canada, as well as the U.S. and internationally. So we wish them all the very best in their travels. And more royalty in the Grand Street Parade with Princess Colebrook making Princess her way in. Colebrook, it's interesting to know Ashley Mossman, and she has the first artistic princess float. She's first place on that. And as you can see by watching it, uh, a lot of work put in this float. Ashley, welcome to the parade. Ashley Mossman is a 20-year-old daughter of Eric and Marianne Mossman of Cambridge. Ashley has completed her third year at Acadia University working towards a Bachelor of Arts majoring in Sociology with a minor in Comparative Religious Studies. She's uh, planning to pursue a career in social work. Uh, her child attendant is Kaylin Van Meekeren. It looks like another classic car coming up here. And this is the Bethany Memorial Baptist Church. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary. That's a stunning car. Some of the members of uh, Bethany in the uh, car, enjoying uh, the parade here in the downtown Kentville area. From wherever you're watching, we hope you're enjoying the sights and the sounds of the Apple Blossom Festival Coronation, or uh, Grand Street Parade on Eastlink TV. Of course, I have Coronation on the brain uh, with From the selection of night. Queen yeah. Annapolisa, and we'll uh, have an opportunity to see the new Queen uh, here in the Grand Street Parade this afternoon. And that's coming up. We have a few floats to get through before then, and it looks like there may be a little sun coming out now, Len. Every once in a while, it, uh, it threatens to come out. Pipes and drums, the 33rd Halifax Pipes and Drums, a volunteer civilian uh, pipe band. And uh, they were formed back in 1977 and proud to wear the Nova Scotia tartan kilts, always uh, popular to see. And they had the honor of performing in the closing ceremonies of the 